Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about parallel binary adder. Parallel binary adder very very important and a basic adder to add to add n number of bits to add n number of bits. Okay. For example, see binary adder. What do you mean by adder? Adder is nothing but which is used to add two bits. Which is used to add two bits. There are two adders immediately after hearing the name adder. We will come to know there are two different adders. Okay, we will be having the, an idea regarding two adders. One is half adder and second one is full adder. Half adder and full adder. What do you mean by half adder and full adder? What do you mean by half adder and full adder? Half adder can add. Half adder is able to add two bits of data. Half adder can add only two bits of information. And what about the full adder? Full adder can add three bits of information at a time. Three bits of information at a time. Okay, that means A naught, B naught, C naught. Otherwise, for example, we can say A, B, C. And here we will be having only A, B. Okay. So, half adder is able to add 2 bits data and full adder is able to add 3 bits of data. This is fine. Then what do you mean by this parallel binary adder? Parallel binary adder. I told you half adder is for 2 bits and full adder is for 3 bits. Suppose for example, I will give you 2 numbers, 2 numbers A consisting of a 4 bit size and B consists of 4 bit size. Now your task is to add the 4 bits of A and 4 bits of B together and produces a sum. In such case, we should go for the detailed explanation. See here, 4 bits of A is nothing but A0, A1, A2, A3 and similarly B3, B2, B1, B0. Okay. So, when you add A0, B0, see here. So, what we need to do, listen carefully. I am changing the color here. See, when you add, see, when you add A0, B0, A0, B0, first you have to add this A0, B0. And later you have to add A1, B1. And again next you have to add A2, B2. Next you have to add A3, B3. Okay. So when you add A0, B0, how many bits are there? Only two bits are there. So for the addition of these two bits, we can use half adder. We can use half adder or also we can use full adder by making third bit is equal to 0. By making third bit is equal to 0 and we can use full adder also. Okay. That is of user interest. Now, coming to the addition, when you use half adder or full adder, there are two outputs from the half adder and full adder. As we have already studied, you might have known by this time. So, uh, when you add two bits of information, we will be having two outputs. One is sum, another one is carry. One is sum, another one is carry. So, here you have to show sum and the carry should be added to the next stage. Carry should be added to the next stage. See here. How many bits of information now available in the second stage? There are three bits of information. C1, C1, A1, B1. So, in order to add three bits of data, you should use now full adder. You should, know, you should use now full adder. Half adder is not suitable. Half adder is not suitable because half adder can capable to add only two bits whereas full adder is capable to add 3 bits of data. That's why we are using a full adder and once all these together can be added and it will produce again 2 bits of information. One is sum 1, another one is carry 2. Sum and carry. Of course, always adder output is sum and carry. So, here sum is downwards and carry will be added with the next stages. And again, we need one more full adder. We need one more full adder. After adding these 3, it will be again S2 and C3. So, again we have 3 bits of data. To add this, we need a full adder. 
okay so except the first stage all the remaining stages are collided as or else by making the first carry input is equal to 0 we can use the last stage means a not b not can also be added with the pull adder no problem so a3 b3 c3 are added together and produce s3 and now the carry 4 is generated carry 4 is generated which has to be taken along with the sum which has to be taken along with the sum okay this is what the addition happens actually okay now we are in a process of creating a parallel binary adder a parallel binary adder see <coughs> whatever the explanation in terms of uh, um, calculation part we have shown the same has to be drawn in diagrammatically block diagram okay so block diagram of block diagram of what is this binary adder binary adder see first one first one we have a full adder here how many how many number of bits are there that many number of adders we need okay so number of bits is equal to number of full adders number of bits is equal to number of full adders how many bits are there four bits a not a1 a2 a3 so we have to consider four bits four full adders okay very very important how many number of bits are given that many full adders we have to draw okay we will not get four full adders always that depends on the size of the number of bits given in the question now this is a full adder this is a full adder and here full adder 3 2 1 and full adder 4 okay how many number of bits are there that many number of full adders we have to use now the first input is a not b not a1 b1 a2 b2 a3 and b3 okay now what i said for full adder there are three inputs okay this is the first carry input and now we have to give it as zero because there is no use of carry input after the output full adder gives some one and the output of the first full adder goes to the input of second full adder which is a carry and output is s2 and again the output is connected to the next carry and again s3 this carry will go there and c3 this is s4 and this one is c4 the carry output of the full adder 4 is nothing but c4 so this is what the result of addition c4 s4 s3 s2 s1 this is the bit positions along with the carries okay this is what the parallel binary adder but what is the problem of this parallel binary adder if you look at the first suppose if there are four bits as we have considered here okay I am having a0, b1, a1, b1, a2, b2, a3, b3. When all these 8 bits are available and I do not have a carry c3, what is the purpose of what is the and how to generate s4? s4 cannot be generated until we generate sc3. Listen carefully what I am saying. s4 is not generated until we generate c3 and s3 will not get until we get c2. s2 we cannot get until we get c1 and s1 we cannot get until we get a0 b0 so the delay incurred in this particular parallel binary adder is very high compared to any other any other additions any other adders because the last stage carry has to wait until the completion of the tasks of all the previous 
full adders all the previous full adders okay suppose each full adder is having one millisecond duration let us consider each full adder has a working time of one millisecond so again this is one millisecond this is one millisecond and the last one is one millisecond the execution time for this particular full adder 4 is one millisecond but but see if I actually it is in the nanoseconds i am just considering for example millisecond for understanding otherwise you can also take nanosecond now the execution of this f3 fa f1 f2 all these are 3 milliseconds together okay so the generation of c3 waits for 3 milliseconds once this 3 millisecond after 3 milliseconds the c3 is generated it takes 1 millisecond for this execution to so totally 4 milliseconds here time okay even if you have a3 b3 readily available it cannot move forward until we get c3 okay that is the main problem of this binary adder in parallel binary adder in parallel binary adder delay is more delay is more due to the waiting of carrier due to the waiting of carrier okay so the other name for this other name of this parallel binary adder is ripple carry adder ripple carry adder ripple carry adder means r c a okay r c a ripple carry carry is just going from one stage to another stage okay that's why it is ripple carry adder so the delay is more in ripple carry adder compared to the other design so to avoid the delay we are going for look at carrier generator carry save adder so like that we are having different types of adders just to reduce the delay that is the main aim okay thank you